Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another object competition video. So, before we get into today's competition guys, we need to go over the uh, previous competition and uh, find out who won. So, if you remember last episode it was the Scorched Desert Object Competition. So, yeah we had these uh, six objects here. Now, now looking at the results, oh my god it was close. Right, so, taking the win by one point. So here we go, so this was stuck in 2D, he got six votes. And then Siren was right behind him on five votes. So that was that was really close. So yeah, very nice job indeed uh, to both of those guys. So they got top two by far. Um, so yeah, stuck in's object, the one at one, was Crydonia. I believe it was, yeah, this object here. Oh, what's where are we gone? Zoom in again, that was weird. But yeah, Crydonia. So this object was the winner um, right here. This one had quite a cool backstory as well, if I remember right. But if you want to go ahead and find out more about these, check out the uh, previous episode. But yeah, that one had a really cool backstory. I remember that. That was cool. And then Siren's object was, uh, let's see here on the list. It was, uh, which I think it was this object here. Uh, oh, no, that one. Yeah, here we go. This one here. This one was second place. And yeah, only lost out on getting a draw by one vote. So yeah, it was a very, very close competition. Yeah, very nice work um, to both of those guys. But yeah, nice job um, to stuck in for taking his second win, I believe, of object competition. So yeah, very nice job there. But yeah, with all that all said and done, let's move on to today's object competition. Okay, everyone. So on to today's competition now. We are going to be doing a winter world. So this should be this should be quite interesting because obviously the Christmas competition, you could argue, is sort of a winter world. But today we're just focusing on winter worlds. It doesn't have to be any Christmas colored themed or anything. So let's see what you guys have prepared for us. So let's go ahead and... Uh search up comp like we normally do so we have six objects to do today so a massive thank you to everyone who uh, sent these in i believe uh, some people have written some um backstories and stuff so that seems to be the cool trend at the moment and yeah i'm really enjoying uh these as well so the first object we have got is from astronomy geek so did they uh put any story for theirs okay they did right so here it is so this is snowball d here right here we go so yeah winter world looking very cold and chilly here so right uh this world so it is a uh, j3 it's called j uh 342d was discovered in 2023 it's been nicknamed snowball as its average temperature never reaches above minus 200 degrees so very very chilly and cold here looking at good so it looks um also we can see some rocky obviously some frozen oceans um by the looks of things as well if we look have a look underneath the atmosphere and clouds so there's a better look of its surface so it looks very very rocky and dry and barren um, it's almost like a frozen wasteland almost is sort of the vibe I'm getting from this. So yeah, there it is. And obviously you can see a little more um, behind it as well. But yeah, there is Snowball D. So very nice. Obviously white atmosphere and clouds looking good with it. Um, also there looking good. Right. Next up we have got Core. So let's see what they've got. So Trappist 2.0. Right. So where are we? Is it spawn? Okay, there we are. So Snow Trappist 2.0. So let's spawn that in. Okay. Um... There, he says it's a modified version of an old object. Make sure the water isn't broken. I think it's looking fine. Um, yeah, I'd say that's looking all right. So looking good. Right. So as we can see, similar sort of theme. But this one actually does have liquid water on it. Check it out. Hey. Obviously, we can see land is obviously quite barren as well. Obviously, we're not going to be expecting lots of grasslands and stuff. We're going to be seeing a lot of like cold, snow, rocky looking surfaces. Oh, it's got a little patch of city lights. Hey. Tiny little civilization in that area of the planet. We can also see a small... A few small other areas around here as well. But yeah, looking good. And yeah, as far as I can tell, the water doesn't look broken. So yeah, we've got that little weird circle thing at the bottom there. But I think that's that should be all right. It looks good. So yeah, there is Snow Trappist. So yeah, modded, uh, modified version of an old object. Very nice indeed there. Okay, right. What have we got next? So let's open the menu again. Come on, game. Right. So next up, we have got Siren's objects. Let's go ahead and place this in. Right, here we go. So did Siren say anything? Okay. Right, so yeah, he has. Right, so, um, Alasius, I hope I'm saying that right, is a cold world with a radius smaller than that of Earth, but a mass which is more than that of Earth. So as we can see, we have 1.08 Earths, but the radius is 0 0.998 Earths. Um, there is, um, what was it, so that of, uh, oh, okay, so, um, it has a mass which is more than that of Earth because of the big iron core this world has. Let's have a little peek at the iron core then. There you go, quite a large chunk as we can see there, right. Now, the surface of this world has been covered in red, purplish coloured mosses and grasslands, with only a few larger plants and a smaller pine like trees near the warmer places and glaciers of this world. Right. Let's have a little look underneath here then, so we see if we can spot those, uh, the moss patches. So he said, um, red, purplish coloured mosses. Can we see them anywhere? 
can obviously be quite hard to spot. It looks like he's used a Europa. I want to say a Europa texture because we can see all the lines. That's looking pretty cool. Hey. I like the I like the areas being sort of blended in with the snowy areas and then the less snowy areas with the, where the water areas are. I think that's quite a cool design there as well. Look at that. I like it. Yeah, you can definitely see that's been made from Europa originally. And obviously, what a world to choose. Obviously, Europa's already very frozen up, cold world. So yeah, good template for a uh, winter wonderland sort of world. So yeah, there we go. And it's also got like a two-tone atmosphere going on. We can see a darker blue and then the lighter blue in the daylight area. So yeah, looking good. So yeah, there is Siren's object for today. Right, moving on. Next up, we've got Little Carly's world here. So let's see what uh, they have sent in. Right, here we go. It looks like a Venus... As we can see here, so let's have a little look underneath the atmosphere. So there we go. Right, so it's very, very, uh, looks like a uh, frozen sort of ocean world underneath the uh, Venus-like atmosphere. So, right, there we go. Okay, so Porter is a freezing planet which can range from minus 265 to minus 250. Okay, uh, there is a liquid water ocean under its surface. Its surface is made of frozen carbon dioxide and water ice at the poles. The equator of the planet is covered in cryovolcanoes, and it also rains frozen carbon dioxide. Oh, that's a really crazy stuff. Porter also has a very, very hazy atmosphere and thick, mostly consisting of methane and carbon dioxide. Okay, so yeah, that is the atmosphere, the Venus-like atmosphere on top of it there. So look at that. Hey. And then it's obviously all frozen up underneath. And yeah, there's all of it all there. So it's, it kind of reminds me of almost like a little gas dwarf kind of object. But yeah, it's pretty cool. So um, yeah, there is their world porter. Right, moving on. So what have we got next? Okay, so next up we've got um, Lost70244. So let's see what he has made um, for this object competition. Right, here we go. Ooh, okay. So let's go, go ahead and close that. So uh, Mephanum. I hope I'm saying that right. So here it is. I, I dig that. I think it looks really good, that one. Right. So let's see what he said for his object. So, right. Uh, welcome to the world of uh, Methianum. I hope I'm saying that right. It is a winter world with temperatures as low as minus 384 Fahrenheit. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what that is in degrees Celsius. Can we go Fahrenheit? Uh, minus 384. Uh, so how much is that in degrees Celsius? Okay. Minus 231 if you want the degrees Celsius. Okay. Allowing for oceans of liquid methane similar to Titan. Okay. Uh, note, the temperature in game is much hotter to keep the oceans liquid. Ah, okay, fair enough. Well, we're not pressing play, actually, so that's all right. Um, during summer, when temperatures reach minus 354 Fahrenheit. So, what's 354 Fahrenheit? So, 354. So, or not, no, minus. We want minus 354. Whoa, right. Minus 354. So, in degrees Celsius, that's minus 214. So, we can see an increase um, in temperature there. Okay. Um, so when it gets to minus 354 Fahrenheit or to minus 214 degrees Celsius, it causes the lakes to partially dry up. But in winter, they um, fall to minus 384 degrees, allowing for a, uh, a, a moisture cycle on the planet. I hope it's right. Um, cycle on the planet due to methane being a similar compound to oil. The lakes appear a dark black as a result, and less CO2. The lakes can be seen from space, giving it an eerie view. So yeah, there are the lakes. I thought they were blue originally. Are they actually like a really dark black shade? Oh, they are. Look at that. Hey, that's cool. So yeah, um, methane being a similar compound to oil. So you can see, yeah, dark. And yeah, I really like the way the oceans appear on this one. I wonder what world this was originally. This definitely, I don't think this is a normal surface texture. This must be one of the moons he's customised here. And I've got to say, I think it looks great. Really like the mix of the black and white on it. I think that's a cool world. So yeah, very nice job to uh, Lost70244 for their world there. Right, so moving on to the last object of this competition. So where are we? So it's Pluto Neon's world. Okay, so let's see what they have prepared for us here. Okay, right. So let's go ahead and uh, close that. Oh, close. There you go. Right, so Pluto Neon. That's what, oh, they've got a big description. Okay. So here it is. So I'm not even going to bother trying to say the name of that because I know I will butcher it. Um, let's have a little look underneath uh, first. So we can see it's very colourful. That's, that's going to be quite an interesting concept. Got the green city lights on it as well. Looking very nice indeed. And green oceans. That is definitely green liquid water on there. So looking good. Right. So what have they said for their world? Okay, I was going for a rainbow sherbet look. The pink and orange surfaces represent real life odd coloured snow found in some part of the world. I'm liking this already. Um, there's a real-life algae 
that turns snow pink and the snow has been nicknamed watermelon snow ah okay in siberia and some parts of europe there's a chance for you to encounter orange snow the green areas are just freezing oceans infested with bioluminescent algae a shout out to you stuck into the so he's the winner of the last competition stuck in um for helping me fix some glitchy customization options also doesn't the planet name make you smile a bit a polite warning to you neptune guy please disable temperature simulations I don't think there is a way to disable temperature, but we're running the simulation in pause, so we're not. It won't melt or anything, or it won't change because yeah, we're not. We haven't pressed play, so yeah, that'll be fine. And yeah, I don't think there is a way to disable temperature or lock the temperature. I mean, it would be cool if they added the temperature lock button, but yeah, they haven't done that um, as of now. Um, so please lock the temperature of our planet since the temp settings are unstable. Yeah, they are definitely are, and I don't want my planet to freeze entirely. Yep, that that's looking fine to me. You can clearly see the green oceans. Like you can see the green water there. That's definitely not frozen. So yeah, there it is, looking good. I really like the concept of the uh, the pink snow and, and like the orangey snow there, and comparing it to like real life situations. I think that's really really cool. So yeah, very cool um, idea there. And yeah, that is everything he had to say about his world here. So yeah, really 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 nice job indeed to Pluto Neon. So um, yeah, that is all of the objects for this competition. So going over them all once more. So we started off with Snowball D here. So if we just get a uh, recap. So if we just search comp again. So this one was Astronomy Geeks world here. And that was, yeah, Snowball D. So there it is there. Then moving on, we had Snow Trappist 2.0. This was Cause 1, if I remember right. Yeah, that was Cause. So yeah, there it is there. So, looking good. So, yeah, Snow Trappist 2.0. Then we had Siren's object with, like, the two-tone atmosphere going on it. And that was the Europa texture behind it as well. So, yeah, that one um, looking very nice. Then we had Porter here. I believe this was a Little Carly's one. Yeah, that was a Little Carly's one. For some reason, it's showing a white atmosphere here. So, maybe something went wrong with the um, atmosphere. So, I'm guessing... See, that? that's the normal Venus. So, I'm guessing... Yeah. I don't know why the atmosphere is wrong. It should be looking a bit more... I don't know why it's doing that. It looks a little too orangey on my screen. I'm not really sure uh, why it's doing that. Huh, that's rather peculiar. Atmosphere. I guess I can make it look slightly more like that, I guess. Or maybe a little more blue. So, yeah, it's meant to look something like that. It's not meant to be like the yellowy Venus shade, but, yeah, something like that then. Okay. So, there it is there. So, yeah, we'll just remove the um, atmosphere for the time being. But, yeah, you can definitely see from the picture, it looks a whole lot different to what it does here. So, I don't know if that's meant to be more white or, or not. But, yeah, there it is. Right, and then next up, we had this world. So, yeah, this was um, Lost's world here. That was a cool one. I really, I like the, um, like, oil, the, like, the oil, methane, like, dark oceans there that blended in with those that white snow area covering a lot of it. I think that was a cool design. And then, yeah, lastly, we had a uh, Pluto Neon's one here with, like, the real-life comparison of the orange and uh, pink snow mixed with the green um, oceans. I think that was a really, really cool idea. And, yeah, very nice job to him uh, for coming up with that. So... That is the lineup for today's competition, guys. So, yeah, if you enjoyed um, this competition, make sure to hit that like button down below. And obviously, if you want to vote on the competition and pick the winner, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description. And, yeah, we can um, see who wins at this competition here. I'll be quite interested to see um, who wins this one as well. So, yeah, um, good luck to um, everyone as well. And, yeah, massive thank you to um, all of the six guys um, for sending their objects in for this competition. But, yeah, that all said and done, guys. Make sure you guys all have a great day out there. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and good luck to everyone in the competition, guys. See you later.